Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games. I'm just here with some more PES 2013. Pro Evolution Soccer, of course. Just showing you some uh, in-game options. Uh, so I've literally just started up a little match. So I'm just going to quickly show you this. Again, I haven't had a lot of time to go into it. So I'm just going to literally just have a quick look. So this is the formation settings, which obviously you can change. And um, obviously I can come straight back out of it. Go into uh, simple settings, automatic. Choose settings from recommended keywords, manual settings, and you can disable the menu. And um, substitutions, I'm not going to substitute anyone yet, obviously. I haven't kicked off, <laughs> that'd be strange. Um, but there you go, there's these substitutions, obviously, you can just select your players. Come back out of there. Player settings. And you can just press to confirm the settings whether they're assisted or not, goalkeeper cursor off, etc. Cursor display player name. Now camera type, uh, this is obviously an important one. So we've got 3D, uh, normal close, wide, vertical close, player, 3D. So not really I'm thinking normal close isn't great, wide is probably the one to go for. And uh, then you've got tailing camera as well. Ball, P, okay, ball or P, okay. Um, so that's probably the one to go for wide. And so we'll leave it like that. Screen settings. And the position bottom bottom translucent and you can change the item colour etc stamina gauge on or off okay command list and uh, it obviously just get runs you through all the different commands available and system settings touchscreen settings, button configuration and sound settings. Going to touch the green settings and uh, you've got your strategy on the bottom. I'm going to try and move the uh, pad now so I'm just going to... it's pad, what am I talking about? I'm going to try and show you the bottom screen. I'm still on the uh, Nintendo Wii U there for a minute. Okay so I'm just going to try and keep in the same position but these are your strategies on the bottom. You can select Strategy one, two, three, or four. Okay, I'm going to try and get it back in the same position. Which isn't that easy? There you go. So, strategy one, if I go in there, you can use. Okay. And then we've got touchscreen settings for upper body faint. Okay. Matthew's faint, step over dummy, St step over pull through, and you've probably seen me do all these moves already, not, okay, and step over, so, just a little um, guide through there, and there's more as well, and these are all kind of locked at the moment by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Gonna come back out of there, hopefully. We're going to come back out of there. Oh, okay. And then finally, we've got button configuration as well. Obviously, you can just change the configuration A's long pass, B short pass, three ball, shoot, cursor change, dash. And that's for attack, obviously. Type one, type two. And finally got sound settings, commentary frequency, commentary name, commentary volume effects, etc. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. And uh, this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.